This video explains how to calculate the sum of a NumPy array in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you several examples and for these examples, we first need to import the NumPy library as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example array as you can see in the second code box. So in this code box, I'm creating a new array object, which is called my array. So after running these lines of code, you can see below the code box that we have created a new array, which contains two rows and three columns. Now let's assume that we want to calculate the sum of all elements in this array. Then we can apply the sum function of the NumPy library, as you can see in the third code box. And within the sum function, we simply need to specify the name of our array. So in this case, our array is called my array. And then you can see below that we have returned the value 21. So the value 21 is the result when we are adding all the elements of our array. We can also create an output which contains the sum by column of our array, as you can see in the next line of code. So in this line of code, I'm using once again the sum function and I'm specifying within the sum function that I want to calculate the sum values for our array, which is called my array. However, this time I'm also specifying that I want to set the axis argument to be equal to zero. And this tells the sum function that I want to return the sum by column. So as you can see, an output is returned below this code box and this output shows the sum for each column. So the sum of one plus four is equal to five. The sum of two plus five is equal to seven. And the sum of three plus six is equal to nine. We can also calculate the sum by rows in an array object, as you can see in the last line of code. So in this line of code, I'm specifying the axis argument to be equal to one, and then the sum function returns the sum by rows. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.